we you know we drill we drill a lot of rebounding drills in practice and you know a lot of teams may not do that um but you know coach coach Pan is so so fundamental and you know he's all about the basics and you know some sometimes people forget about the basics and uh that that happens to be the most important part you know of a game is you know boxing out and getting the rebound uh you know little things like being on your line making free throws like we focus on all those little things and we you know we kind of put it together as a team and um you know as, as long as we continue to do that uh, i think you know we would be very dominant so yeah you know um defense is always something that we stress and so our defense hasn't been great for sure the the first two games and so that was something we we wanted to stress even more and i think we were able to do that um you know we paid attention to the scouting report and we were able we're able to get them to take a lot of the shots that we wanted to take rather than let them take the shots they wanted to take. I'm sorry? To score 1,000 points for your career, what does that uh, mean to you? Hey. I just found that out hey. like five seconds ago. <laughs> um, man, it's, it's a great achievement for me, man. I've, uh, you know, I've put the work in and, you know, I've dedicated myself and, um, you know, I, I sacrificed, you know, to get my body right and, and prepare for, for teams like this and moments like this. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a senior now, man, and, um, you know, I, I've, I've been through it. And, um, you know, I'm just, I mean, I'm glad to, you know, reach that milestone, you know. So why not add more to it, you know. But for, for Purdue, though, you know what I mean, so. Um, I mean, we're just, we feel confident. We feel like we're a really good team together, especially we can feel like we can score the ball a lot. And, uh, we haven't shown it, but we feel like we play, um, we're a good defensive team, even though you kind of saw it this game, but last few games we've been, Kind of lacking in that, we feel we're we're confident that we're just a really good team. We have really good chemistry. Everyone plays for each other. Uh, everyone loves each other. So it's just um, we feel like we can be anywhere in the country. Um, it's a huge part of my game. You know, I was I, the way I was raised and the way I was taught how to play basketball. I was taught to to use passing and you know the way I pass the ball to you know include your teammates in the game and incorporate them and get them involved. And that's how that's the way I, I was taught to play. Um, so I, you know, I just enjoy being part of a team. I enjoy the success of my my teammates. Uh, you know when I make those passes. So um, and then it also makes my job easier. You know I can go be dominant on the, on the on the block, and then you know I can kick out when teams come double. So just being able to do both, um, you know, it, it stretches the floor a little more and um, it makes guys kind of respect us a little more. So I mean, we just beat each other up, really. Yeah, we all crash. Like it's not like we're taking anything off in practice. We go just as hard in practice as we do in the games. Uh, we're really just trying to maybe probably even go harder in practice, honestly, because you don't got rest. We just hate each other, drop our shoulders and stuff like that. I mean, it's how they want us to play. It's how it helps us for the game. So uh, we just uh, we're we're used to getting uh, beaten up and battled. It, it sounds really bad the way you said it. <laughs> it sounds really bad. That's how it but, goes. But though. like that's how really how it is though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, we, we can't get better if we don't go hard. Um, you know, if we don't if we don't push each other, um, you know, we won't we won't get anything out of it. You know, and, and that's what that's why we work in practice. That's why we push each other. Um, you know, I, I tell Zach all the time, man. It, like off the court, man, I love you, but when we're on different teams, like I'm coming for you. Like you know, I, I tell him that, and um, you know, it, we make each other better. You know, these past two years, man, playing against a, a bigger guy, you know, a bigger defender, um, somebody we probably won't see in the Big Ten besides like Kofi. Um, you know, he's made me, you know, adjust my game and kind of stretch my game out a little more. And, um, you know, I just, I just appreciate him for that. And, and you know, like, like I said, we probably won't get anywhere if we don't push each, push each other in practice. So that's, there's a, a reason for everything. Well, I, I think each game you see defensively, we're making improvements and we're better, but you still see our breakdowns. You know, we're still having breakdowns, but they're diminishing. They're getting less and less, and that's what you want to be able to do. A lot of it for us is concentration, just being in the right place and just having discipline and doing our job. When we do our job and stick to our rules, then we just stay connected as a group. But um, we, we just got to keep improving and, and, and keep getting better. But um, we've definitely put ourselves in a better position offensively, in my opinion, than defensively. But yet we're, we're, still, you know, we're, we're still playing different styles, and, and now we'll get a real test in our next tournament with the, with the teams that we're going to play. Yeah. Well, it was great for him. I didn't realize that until after we talked to the team that he scored 1,000 points. So that's you know, just a fabulous honor for him. Um, he's, he's done a much better job of kind of locking in and focusing. 
you know, like kind of start of the games. He was so good for us last year finishing games. And that's if you could pick, that's what you would rather have, some guy who's good in the last five minutes of the game. And so he made a lot of clutch plays for us, and he's just been more consistent. You know, and a lot of him coming off the bench, I keep talking to people about it's still a positive. You know what I mean? Like it's still a positive. Like he didn't do anything wrong. I think you can see – you know, the personnel that we have. But now when you look at those numbers together and both those guys playing 40 minutes, like, you know, you get Zach Eady and they're wailing on you for four to five minutes and then you want a break and here comes Travion Williams and he's fresh. And so, but no, he's great. You know, he, he has a, for guys that can really see the court and pass, sometimes they, they thread the needle a little bit too much because they see things other people don't. But he has, a, he has one of the best feels of anybody I've been around in terms of passing and knowing what's going on. Sometimes he overdoes it. He had a two layups tonight, and he's so unselfish, he's passing the basketball out where he needs to you know, just take those layups and, and score the ball. But he's been great for us. i just looking forward to playing a, a quality opponent in North Carolina. You know, they, they have great individual players. Um, they're like everybody else. They're trying to kind of find themselves, especially defensively. We're all trying to kind of piece it together early in the year. And uh, most teams are scoring more points. And even though they might win by 15, 20, 25 points, they're also allowing a lot of points. And that's what we really want to kind of, you know, sharpen our pencil and be better from a defensive standpoint because we know, you know, just how talented North Carolina is and all the weapons that they have. So, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to play in those tournaments. And uh, they're definitely games that can help all of us come tournament time. How yeah. special is that? Yeah. Well, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't think he agrees with it, but he buys into it. So I think you show that. I don't want them to agree with it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want the guys that come off the bench to agree with it. I want them to be professional about it. I want them to understand the big picture about it and then go out. No, it's not personal. But now you still got to go out and play well. Like, you got to have a clear mind. And their job when they came to Purdue wasn't to start. Their job when they came to Purdue was to help us win. And so our guys that are older, they understand that. I think it's hard for, to go through that, especially when you've started before. But, with, but if they've been around me, they know it's not, nothing's final, nothing's concrete. I'm not going to do it to appease somebody. You know what I mean? It, like, I'm just – I'm not. I'm going to do what I think is best for Purdue.